for inviting me to have uh, this uh, presentation about exchange distillation news. Um, well, we are going to see some uh, most uh, modern equipment uh, in micellar distillation. Um, first, uh, we can see um, all about distillation itself. Uh, as uh, we know, um, the micella is the mixture of oil uh, and solvent that leaves the structure and has the content about 70 to 80 percent in weight of um, of um, solvent. Uh, so the objective of the distillation is to separate at a fraction of liquid and a fraction of solvent vapors and recover the solvent to be reused. Um, in our case, um, we use what we call OptiSim, which is a simulation of the liquids. Um, which uh, start with the mass and energy balance with the Haspen HiSIS. It's a pure mass and energy balance. Uh, but then we move uh, to Haspen HiSIS shell and tube uh, to make an equipment sizing and define the geometry of the equipment, basically. Um, but still, is necessary to uh, have a, me a mechanical design that uh, we are doing it with a mechanical um, autopipe vessel, with a mechanical uh, software, um, where is defined plate thickness, flanges dimension, and all, all, the, all the rest, with all the info linked from the mass and heat balance. Um, all the mechanical designs following different official standard um, method like uh, ASMET uh, in, in the States typically, but DIN uh, in Europe uh, or any other required norm depending on the country where the equipment will be installed. Going straight to the micella um, distillation. We can see here the micella distillation flow sheet, where, as we can mention, these are the concentration of the micella, oil concentration, uh, start from 25% about, outlet from the structure to 80 to 90% uh, out of the first stage but 96% uh, out of the second stage and then uh, the micella is going to the stripper where we have almost no um, no exchange, just uh, 50 ppm or even less uh, ppm of exchange and uh, the 20 once again maximum 20 ppm out of the oil dryer. Um, looking at uh, different uh, equipment, let's say um, news somehow, it is, we will mention a few of, of, of the equipment uh, shown here in the distillation, but also we are going to see some of the equipment of the solvent recovery. Yeah, we separate the solvent in gas vapor mode, so we are going to recover that uh, solvent in, uh, in the solvent recovery section, we will see uh, the, the most important equipment there and some few equipment in the mineral system as well as part of the distillation. Um, this one is starting for the first stage solvent evaporation. We can see uh, that is this kind of, of equipment, how it looks uh, from outside a little bit inside and um, following the pictures we shown in the portrait uh, we have here 
the largest plant in the world, 11,000 tons per day soya uh, with uh, this kind of equipment. Even <laughs> looks like a not very big uh, item, but the diameter of the shell, uh, this, this diameter, it's about uh, 2.6 meters um, dia, uh, but the tube length of 15 meters uh, with a total area of uh, surface of uh, 4,400 square meter uh, and maybe you can recognize that this is split flow equipment where the inlet it is in the center of the equipment in the middle of the equipment and the gases will uh, goes towards um, upward uh, and downward to be connected later on to the um, to the solvent preheater or the um, atmospheric condens condenser. Um, if we see a little bit inside of the equipment, okay, this this um, sorry, this um, split flow type it is for very large equipment where the main um, objective the main goal to have uh, that kind of that kind of design is to minimize the pressure drop through the 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 shell yeah? the gases has a good, good contact but at the same time very um, low pressure drop and this is how it looks inside and this is the the the, the objective yeah? is to have a minimum pressure drop but at the same time good heat exchange. As we mentioned before, uh, the concentration uh, outward from this equipment is up to 90% uh, uh, of oil. Eh? And the gases uh, inside with the what we call double segmental buffers, eh? you can see are not one window, but two, eh? one central window, big uh, central window, but other two on the next uh, step of buffers and once again central in the next. Eh? So there is a, a minimum pressure drop. You can see that the, the gases path is not uh, very uh, compromised, but uh, quite a straightforward. But at the same time, it is not a big um, pressure drop, which could generate safety uh, concerns in the entire plan. So uh, some other um, uh, features of the, uh, of this type of equipment. Um, we can mention that this is a TEMA uh, from the standard. It's a BEM. It's a type of, uh, of, uh, of um, shell and tube uh, heat exchanger uh, where it's not any condensate accumulation because of that it is the condensate outlet eh? i don't know if you are able to see there it is the tube sheet eh? it's not uh, in coincidence with the flange but uh, it is uh, just flat with the outlet condensate as it is uh, some experience in the past uh, where the tubes at that um, uh, uh, interface of uh, liquid condensate and gases start to make some um, some um, uh, pitting in the tubes. Eh? Uh, another point to to look at here it is the um, inspection doors eh? and the tube sheets where you are able to see the uh, the 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 pitch square pitch eh, where we have aligned all the tubes in such a way that if necessary it's possible to have um, a cleaning eh, with the separation of the tubes of five millimeters in between the two tangents eh? so it is a line uh, able to clean the the tubes eventually if if required okay uh, continues with the um, second equipment. I want to show some uh, news. It is the Misera Prechita. 
which is uh, the equipment following the first stage where the concentrate micella is leaving from the first stage at a temperature of about 50 um, degrees, but we have the oil uh, at about 96 degrees C. So the idea is to um, increase the temperature of the micella from 50 degrees to about 70 degrees before the second stage, so we can uh, save some uh, steam uh, on, in the second stage. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> even though when uh, this uh, kind of equipment, it is uh, well known since uh, old times, but in this case, the, um, we have to change the design due to some uh, following issues in the, in the past. You know, when uh, you go through the industry, you see that uh, it's a it's a it's a equipment with some issues in the in the with the folding. So, what we did is to design in such a way that can be removable bundle tubes, which is not in the in the typical horizontal way, but it is on the um, vertical way. Eh? You can see there that there is multiple passes, about eight passes of in the on the tube side, but naturally on the shell side it is only one, but is able, yeah, you can see here, that is able to dismount this equipment in vertical mode, vertical fashion, in such a way that is uh, possible to go around all the tube bundle and clean with a high pressure wash uh, cleaning uh, water um, and clean all all the tubes, uh, which as well are in uh, align all the tubes, uh, but with several several um, uh, several passes on on the tube side on the of the oil. Uh, so it's uh, preventing to be any falling in, in, into the tube side, but on the shell side, it is because of the speed, but on the shell side is possible to clean up with keeping the mechanical integrity after every uh, cleaning of, of this uh, equipment. Another uh, news, it's uh, the oil stripper, which is also a very old type. Eh? It is um, you. It was used for the petroleum industry, where it was shown that it was very um, reliable in terms of falling, avoiding the falling uh, during uh, the entire year. So the oil cascade down across uh, the sieve stripper uh, in a deeper uh, layer of froth, uh, while the steam flows goes upwards. Uh, we will see a, a sketch uh, in the next uh, slide um, where the oil typically goes in between 95 to 100 degrees C eh, uh, in the in the inlet, but outlet at about 95 degrees eh, with a vacuum of 350 to 400 millibars absolute pressure to lower the boiling point of the solvent. Uh, to improve the, the stripping. Uh, this is how it uh, looks like. Uh, the liquid get in and by a down camera, then goes to a part um, where it's called the, um, the perforate plate, uh, where we see that the steam pass through making the froth and uh, we, because of the speed of the steam are, is not able to uh, goes down the oil through the same uh, hole, so there is a special, a special uh, part design, uh, call it a down camera, to go to the second stage, uh, etc. To seven uh, is the is the all the stages we need to get uh, 50 lower than 50 ppm uh, of exchange in oil. Um, the froth. Um, it's able to have a very good uh, contact in between uh, steam uh, and oil, so it's possible to 
get a good removable of the uh, exane in that in that case with a long a large um, interface in between so these are some uh, details mechanical details eh, where it's possible to see that this uh, uh, just the the seed plates are bolted on but all the rest uh, it's uh, well to the to the shell in such a way to give um, uh, solid uh, construction, mechanical construction uh, of the equipment. Uh, this is uh, possible to see the feeding section and all the, the rest of the stages. Process-wise, it's um, possible to get all the, the less than 50 ppm, even in some cases it's not uh, possible to measure the, the outlet, the amount of uh, exane outlet, but uh, only with 95 degrees at the outlet, which gives not only uh, some savings of uh, steam because of the low temperature, but which is uh, okay, it's one to two kg in comparison with some other um, technologies. But what is important, it is the quality of oil that uh, is the best due to the low um, temperature of oil in this, in this stage. Okay, um, about solvent recovery, um, when we see the flow sheet, uh, we see that the vacuum uh, condenser is the more important, the, all the rest uh, naturally has importance, but this is where we can see more news than in the others. Um, this is the typical vacuum condenser where uh, the inlet, the gas inlet, is in the middle, so it is um, what we call split flow because the the flows of gases are going to the two extremes, to the two ends, eh? but then it's going again to the center, but uh, almost without any heat. But the idea is to minimize the temperature uh, to get the the better the better um, vacuum into the outlet, eh? but at the same time. The water is in coincidence with the last um, pass of gases, so the gases has almost a contact current, a full contact current at the outlet, <clears throat> so with an approach of three degrees approximately, with the um, <clears throat> inlet uh, uh, water temperature, which is the, the water temperature of the cooling tower. Yeah? And the, um, the outlet of, of water so if we make it completely, the, the vacuum condenser, we can see this, um, this uh, kind of path of gases, eh? where it's even easier to see the path of the water. Eh? We have three passes of water and somehow half pass of uh, gas on the gas uh, side of, of the shell side. Eh? That uh, it is what we call a split type. Mm? When uh, we see the main uh, figures, uh, the pressure drop shell side, it is about 14 uh, torricellis or 15 millimeters and uh, 20 millimeters on the, uh, is the loud. Eh? Uh, this is the design, so it's almost very, very uh, uh, low pressure drop on the shell side. On the, on the tube side, we have <coughs> only 0.64 bar, eh? but it's allowed up to, for um, fouling or whatever, it is allowed up, up to one, 135 bar. Eh? This is how it uh, looks like. Eh? Uh, on equipment installed once again in the, in the biggest, in the largest plant uh, in the world with 11,000 tons uh, per day with a tube quantity of uh, eight eight thousand tubes in this uh, single equipment to reach the um, the eleven thousand the the four thousand four hundred square meters and eleven thousand one with one single equipment eleven thousand tons per day soya uh, in in coming to to this plant. Okay, thank you very much for your attention and your time, and I am uh, available for any question 
uh, you would have it, over there it is my my mail so you can uh, mail me or any other way of contact thank you very much for everything bye